Hi, in the last session we completed first two steps that is loading the data and splitting the data. We loaded the data using np.loadtxt and we split the data using model selection split. Important thing to notice over here is that if model selection is our training data set 150 points in our training so these 150 points are ये randomly choose होते हैं, ठीक है? तो जो out of 200 जो ये 150 points training के लिए choose हुए हैं, ये randomly choose हुए हैं। It's not कि जो first 150 points हैं, वो हमारे training में चले जाएंगे। नहीं, ऐसा नहीं होगा। वो randomly choose करेगा 200 points में से, और उनमें से जो 150 points होंगे कोई randomly chosen, वो हमारे training data में भेज देगा। Okay, so in this session, I want to go ahead and complete our step three. So the first function that I want to implement is my training function. So a training function will take training data from us and it will try to find the best fit line. Or I can say it will try to find the M and C values of the best fit line. Okay, so if I have to find M my function is this one so first I'll find the numerator and then I'll find the denominator okay so numerator is going to be x into y dot mean minus x dot mean into y dot mean right so this is my numerator for m and my denominator is going to be my m is equal to numerator by denominator. Okay. So similarly intercept value will be y dot mean minus m into x dot mean right so return m and c so my training data will take from us some data and it will return the best fit line okay so my training function is ready now let's go ahead and implement our predict function. Predict function will take x, m and c and it will make predictions according to our best fit line. Let's implement our cost function. So cost function will take x, y, m and c. Okay, so the function for cost is y minus m into x minus c square dot mean. So we have to return this. So one last function we are left with is score. So this is the expression for score, it will take y actual and y predicted from us. So first let's calculate the numerator, first let's calculate this numerator. Let's write denominator. Return one minus numerator by denominator. Okay. So this is minus. So all our functions are ready, let's train our model using these functions. 
First, let's use a training function to train our model. Okay, so this will give us m and c values and to calculate predicted values, we can use a predict function. Let's calculate score. So we are getting a score of 0.988, which is really good. The best possible could have been one, right? So we are very close to one. So means we are really going doing well on our data. Okay. Let's calculate training score as well. For that, first I have to calculate why train predict. So my score comes up to be 0.989 for training as well, right? What actually matters to us more is our testing score, but still we have calculated our training score as well. Okay. So the one last thing that I want to calculate is our cost using our cost function. So my cost comes out to be 8.54. So 8.54 is my minimum possible cost for this given data. So if I try to change my M and C values to something else, I'll definitely get the cost which will be higher than 8.54. In the next session, we will use SKLearn library to train our model using this same data. So we will try to check if the results are similar. Okay, see you in the next session. Thank you.